This video is created by Jagrat Creation. I want to solve one sum on peaceful distribution that occurs at the time of dissolution of a partnership firm and the sum that I intend to take care of will be solved by capital comparison method. Observe the sum that I want to consider. So this is the sum that, that I want to solve here before you. First I read, Ramchan, Sumchan and Khemchan are the partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 3. The balance sheet of the firm as on 31st of December 2016 was as under. Dissolution took place on 1st of January 2017. So this is the balance sheet just on the date of dissolution. On assets and fixed assets, Cash on hand, sundry current assets, profit and loss account, debit balance. So it's a loss that will be distributed amongst partner in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 3. After that, we can work out the capital redeemable at the instance of dissolution of a partnership after considering the realization profit or loss. Capital Ramchan, Somchan, Khemchan, sundry creditors. The firm was dissolved on 1st of January 2017. Assets were realized as under. First installment realized. In that fixed assets realized 25,000, current assets 10,000, expenses incurred 500. In second installment, fixed assets realized 20,000, current assets 14,000, no expenses. Last installment 12,000, 6,600 are the expenses. From the cash on hand, sum of rupees 2,000 was to be kept aside for dissolution expenses which were incurred and paid. These expenses is over and above the realization expenses shown above. So we are required to keep aside 2000 for expenses other than this mentioned and these expenses, this expenses is over and the above realization expenses shown above. So these 2000 are over and above these two. From the above prepare a statement showing the fiscal distribution of cash amongst the partners, amongst the creditors and partners of the firm. Now this is a sum that I intend to solve. You are not specifically told that which method for peaceful distribution need be adopted. So you can adopt any one of the method that is either maximum loss method or capital comparison method or relative capital method. Now for the purpose of preparing a peaceful distribution statement, I am required to prepare columns. First I am required to pay outsider creditors. So one column will be from two, one column will be maintained for creditors. One column I am going to keep a cash column from which the payments are going to be made. So cash column and credit co creditors column. Over and above I am required to prepare three columns for capital accounts of the partners. So let me prepare a peaceful distribution statement and start with the sum. So cash column, creditors column, Ranchan, Somchan and Kemchar. Statement showing the peaceful distribution of cash among the partners. Now first of all, I will write down the opening balances. So Ramchan capital account. Sunsun capital account and Khemchal capital account, 24,600. Now this profit and loss account has a debit balance, it's an accumulated loss that will be distributed amongst partners in the ratio of ratio profit sharing. After that the capital redeemable will be arrived. Creditors are required to be paid in priority to the payment to the capital. Now this cash on hand 5,000 that I write here. Now this profit and loss account 2,000 as I told to you will be distributed amongst Ramchan, Sonchan and Khemchan in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 3. So 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 to the 20. So distribution will be 800, 600 and 600. So profit and loss distributed that is to be deducted. So amount payable to Ramchan 39,000, Sonchan 27,000, Khemchan 24,000. Now after finding the exact amount payable to creditors, Amount net payable against the partners for their capital that is to be worked out considering the accumulated profits and accumulated losses which are not distributed till the date of dissolution are required to be distributed first of all then and then you can proceed with the fiscal distribution. Now from the cash in hand 2000 was to be kept aside. So 3000 is the cash balance. First installment 25,000 plus 10,000 minus 500. So 25,000 plus 10,000, 35,000 minus 500 expenses. 
So amount available for distribution is 34,500, 34 plus 3, 37,500. Amount payable to creditors is 39,000. We don't have 39,000 available for making payment to the creditors. So we can pay to the extent cash available. So amount paid to creditors 37,500. Amount yet to be paid to creditors is 39,000 minus 37,500. 1,500 is yet to be paid to the creditors. Now look look forward to the next installment. 20,000 plus 14,000 minus no expenses. So 20 plus 14, 34. So this is the second installment. You have to make payment in priority to the outsiders. So pay creditors 1,500. So you have a cash balance of 32,500. Now this 32,500 is available for distribution between Ramchand, Sulchan and Khamchand. For that I am going to apply the relative capital method or I will consider the per unit of profit capital of each partner. The minimum capital of per unit of a partner will get amount after making the capital of other partners keeping at par with his proportion. So this is the statement that I am going to prepare for that. Now the amount payable to the partners, Ramchand, Sumchand, RSK, 39,000, 27,000 and 24,000. You know that their profit sharing ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 3. Now what you have to do? 39,000 is the capital contributed by Ramchand for a have, to have a share of rupees 4 in profit. Proportionate share is 4. So 39,000 is a capital contribution for 4 rupees profit. So what is his contribution per unit of profit? So 39,000 divided by 4. So per unit capital balance per unit of profit sharing ratio 9750. Similarly, Somchan has contributed 27,000 for 3 units of profit. So his capital contribution per unit of profit is 9,000. And Khamchan, 24,000 is a capital contribution for 3 units of profit. So 8,000 is a capital contribution per unit. Now this is the capital contributed relative capital per unit of profit. So here the relative capital of K is 8,000, relative capital of S is 9,000, relative capital of R is 9,750. Now, who has contributed relative capital in excess? They are to be paid first. They are to be paid in priority. See, so 8,000 is the per unit capital of K. 9,000 is the per unit capital of S. So 9,000 minus 8,000, 1,000 per unit of capital is given more by S as compared to K. So 1,000 into 3, so minimum 3,000 must be received by S in priority to K. Similarly, here 9,750 and 9,000 for that also you can work out the relative capital. But the easiest way to do it, identify the lowest relative capital. So select the lowest, lowest capital per unit and multiply that with the profit sharing ratio. So 8,000 is the lowest per unit capital. That is to be multiplied with the profit sharing ratio. So 8,000 into 4, 8,000 into 4, this 4, 32,000 is the re capital of R relative to K. Similarly, 8,000 into 3, 24,000 is the capital of S in relation to K, in relation to the capital proportion of K, Khemchan. And here, 8,000 into 3, so it is same. Now how much is the excess capital? 39,000 minus 32,000 is the surplus capital. 27,000 minus 24,000 is the surplus capital. So 39 minus 32, this is a surplus capital of Ramchan and surplus capital of Somchan is 3,000. Now this is the capital surplus of Ramchan as compared to Khemchan. This is a surplus capital of S as compared to Khemchan. But in between Ramchand and Samchand, Ramchand and Somchan, whose capital is surplus, for that we should go for further working. So here there is no surplus capital. Now the profit sharing ratio of Ramchand and Somchand is 4 is to 3. 
So for four rupees share in profit, the surplus capital contributed is seven thousand. So four rupees share in profit, surplus capital contributed seven thousand. Here three rupees of share in profit, surplus capital contributed is one thousand. So I want to find out per unit of share in profit how much surplus capital is held by these two partners. For that seven thousand divided by four. So one seven five zero is the surplus capital per unit of profit, and three thousand divided by three, one thousand is the per unit of surplus capital. So this is the minimum one thousand. So one thousand will be select the lowest capital per unit. So one thousand is selected. So one thousand into four, four thousand is the capital in proper capital of Ramchand in proportion to Somchand. So four thousand. And here, three thousand. Now seven thousand minus four thousand, so three thousand is a capital surplus of Ramchand against Somchand. So three thousand is a surplus capital. Now there is no surplus. So this is a distribution statement that I have prepared. Now the most important statement on the basis of that, you should decide the manner in which the payment is to be made. So first three thousand will be paid to Ramchand. See, first three thousand is going to be paid to Ramchand. How much cash do I have? I have got thirty-two thousand five hundred, and first three thousand is to be paid to Ramchand. So Ramchand will be paid first three thousand. Now after that, ten thousand minus three thousand, seven thousand is to be paid to Ramchand and Somchand. And after so ten thousand minus three thousand. Seven thousand is to be paid to Ramchand and Somchand in profit sharing ratio, and any remaining amount is to be paid to Ramchand, Somchand, and Khemchand in the profit sharing ratio. So what happens by making a payment of three thousand to Ramchand, the capital of Ramchand and Somchand will be in profit sharing ratio. After making a payment of seven thousand to Ramchand and Somchand in the profit sharing ratio, then the capital of all the partners will be in the profit sharing ratio. That will be that is four is to three is to three. That's the philosophy. So first three thousand paid to Ramchand. Now see thirty six thousand and twenty six seven thousand. These two capitals are in the profit sharing ratio four is to three. Nine four is thirty six. Nine three is twenty seven. So now if you pay seven thousand. To Ramchand and Somchand in the profit sharing ratio four is to three, so four thousand and three thousand is paid. So thirty two thousand, twenty four thousand and twenty four thousand. So eight threes are twenty four, eight threes are twenty four, eight fours are thirty two. So four is to three is to three is the capital ratio, and the profit sharing ratio is also four is to three is to three. So all subsequent payments. Will be made in the profit sharing ratio. So this twenty two thousand five hundred will be distributed now in the profit sharing ratio, because first three thousand rupees are paid, then seven thousand rupees are paid in the profit sharing ratio to these two partners. After that, whatever the cap cash balance is available, that will be distributed in the profit sharing ratio. So this twenty two thousand distributed in the profit sharing ratio. So nine thousand will be received by Ramchan. Six seven five zero will be received by Somchand and Kemchand. So this distribution has occurred in the profit sharing ratio four is to three is to three. Now this is how cash distribution has occurred. Now the last installment twelve plus six eighteen thousand minus six hundred. So seventeen thousand four hundred that is to be distributed in the profit sharing ratio because the capital is also in the profit sharing ratio. So, if you distribute in the ratio of four is to three is to three, six times six times six zero five to two zero five to two zero. This is a distribution in the ratio of four is to three is to three. So, if you deduct it, you will get the realization loss. So, realization loss suffered by Ramchand is sixteen thousand forty, twelve thousand thirty, twelve thousand thirty. Now, even on the basis of this sum, if you prepare the Realization account and everything, realization account, capital account, and cash account. You will find that the realization loss, as found out by preparing realization account, will be the total of these three, and the, that realization loss is distributed among partners in the ratio of profit sharing. This is how the piecemeal distribution statement is prepared here before you by capital comparison method. 
I have tried to explain you this concept. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.